Hey guys, I'm going to make a quick video here and show you. This is for people who have never hooked up or expanded their um, storage to actually just, just to see what you need to do to hook it up and where to hook it up and how to hook it up uh, for first timers, people that you know running low on storage and they just want to expand. I'll just show you how easy it is. It should take you roughly a minute or two to do this, so it's not very hard. Um, so I got this three terabyte uh, hard drive for 100 bucks at Office Depot. Uh, you know, you probably get them cheaper than that online. It all depends, but it was actually on sale, so it wasn't too bad of a price. Uh, I wanted to build a full solid state drive build, but the solid state drives are still expensive, so I opted out to expand my to this. Um, and then you guys will have to excuse my cable management for my computer because it's a temporary build. I just threw stuff in there because I'm going to be expanding to a different case. So I just kind of ignore that part. But I'm running a solid state drive right here. And I have the M.2 right there. It's uh, 500 gigabyte of storage. And um, I'm going to be expanding that to 3 terabytes right here because I needed it. And uh, just to show you guys what you need to do to... Uh, hook it up. So you're gonna need a uh, SATA 3 cable right here. This one runs at 6 megabits uh, just like the hard drive does. And you're also gonna need a power connector. In most cases this will come with your motherboard. Uh, if you've actually built your own computer you might get an extra one. If not you can get them at a local ha hardware to sell computer parts. Uh, or you can just get them online. Uh, you know, Best Buy carries them, uh, Office Depot. A lot of these places carry these cables. But and then this is what your power cable looks like. Uh, my motherboard is modular, so um, this one here is powering this uh, solid state drive. So it has an extra connector, which this is what I'm going to use to connect it in there. And uh, let me just show you where you would connect it. Um, if you look on top, there's two connectors. One is for SATA, one is for power. And you can also see the little L notches. So, let's give you an example. This is what a SATA cable looks like. And the SATA one has a little locking mechanism. You don't have to hold it down when you're plugging it. But when you want to unplug it, that's when you want to hold it down. So what it just does, it locks in there. Sometimes they pop, sometimes they just go in smooth. It just depends on your cable. So that one popped. So that one will connect in there. And then the other end will connect on your motherboard. It's usually located on the right side towards the middle. And that's what is your that's what SATA 3 connector looks like right there. Uh, as you can see that one is connected. Uh, some of the motherboards will have SATA 3 and, and then SATA 2. Some of them run at two, 3 megabits and some of them run at 6 megabits. My motherboard has all uh, me uh, 6 megabits connectors so it doesn't matter which one I connect it in. But you want to read your instructions on your motherboard or just look at online to see which speed. You know, if you got a slow, like, uh, 3 megabits hard drive, it doesn't matter which one you connected. It's just going to run that fast. But you don't want to run a 6 megabits in a uh, slow port, you know, because you need to get a full advantage of that speed. So, um, anyways, mine doesn't, my case doesn't have the... Um, trays for the hard drive because I took it out to make room for this radiator so I'm just gonna be mounting mine on the bottom I'm gonna have a some uh, both sided you know sticky back tape and it's just gonna tape to the bottom right here so uh, it's and like I said it's just a temporary next month or two and as you can see I got a little dust issue right here so I'm gonna need to uh, dust it off I mean it's not very bad it's been a few months since I cleaned it so it's not bad, but I mean, you can see some buildup right there. So I'm just going to take an advantage of this time and just get it nice, cleaned up, dusted off, and get it installed. So if you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know. And in your particular case, uh, just, you know, you might have one of those trays where it just pops out. You took, take a little mac uh, locking mechanism, it pops out a tray, and then you set your hard drive in, put it back in. Or you might have one of those... Uh, older style cases where you just use screws to mount your uh, hard drive or solid state drive in. In that case, you would just screw two screws on each side, on this side and then the back side. And it just depends on your case. But honestly, guys, you can't do anything wrong here. Uh, it should take you less than a couple of minutes to do this whole project. And uh, next video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually get your uh, solid state drive or your hard drive for your Windows to recognize your new storage and how to get it up and running. So uh, that's all I have on this video.